Hi, I'm Lim. <coughs> so today we are going to talk about a case that cannot be repaired. Okay, because a lot of you guys is wondering what things that we cannot be repaired. Okay, <coughs> ever since the iPhone XS, including the XR, okay, XR, XS, XS Max, 11, 11 Pro, this kind of series, okay, anything newer than the XR. So they have a different security from the Apple. How about uh, we are saying that what thing make us unable to recover the data? Okay, because most of the owner they want to recover the data. Okay, no matter how bad is the damage, okay, what the damage or broken into few pieces. Okay, so the things that we cannot replace is what I mean is the things that we are not allowed. To replace okay the Apple is not allow us to replace so the first thing is CPU the second thing is the baseband CPU okay so but before that we also have a few things that I need to explain okay so first thing is CPU that cannot be replaced okay Apple is not allowed to be because if you replace it not only your phone will start into the DFU mode okay not only that it will force you to restore the phone because there's no way he can de decode the data decrypt the data anymore even if your nun stay the same okay the nun none also known as the hard disk okay so after you replace this the cpu have no way to read the data so it will start to dfu mode force you to restore after you restore the device you will lose the email okay email loss so the email is the baseband because as i say just now cpu and baseband cpu Okay, BB CPU. So these two parts there must be a set. A same same set. Okay. So if these two is not matched, you will lose the email. So. But before before we're talking about the email, there still have a one part left, you know, which is I believe you heard before is called EEPROM. So the EEPROM is just like how to explain it okay so imagine this is your hard disk okay also known as the nun okay your cpu so the cpu don't read the data directly from here they have to go through for security things you know so this is what i call eprom okay so this is a eprom ic so he has to go through this security check and then the CPU will know how to decrypt the data. So this is why in order to recover the data, the CPU must be the same, the NAN and the EEPROM, these three things. Okay. So these three things must be the same in order to recover the data okay doesn't matter which generation of your iPhone okay even iPhone 5 they are the same so let's not talking about the baseband I don't want to involve the baseband because today topic we are going to talk about what things that are causing us to unable to recover the data okay so this three part must be in perfect condition Let's assume you have a case that your NAN is broken or either your EEPROM is broken. You only have a problem, the data is already gone. Really nothing you can do about it. So you just replace one of it, this guy. Let's say if the NAN is broken, you replace it. Or either your EEPROM, you replace it. The phone will start in the DFU mode and force you to restore. And it will be okay again, as long as your baseband CPU is unaffected. But of course, the baseband CPU also have a EEPROM for himself, you know. 
So this, but we were going to skip this part. We are not talking about it. We are talking about data recovery. Okay. So from this point, you already know. If when you lost this one of these things, you only losing the data. Okay, the phone will still able to work if you replace one of it and you just restore it. Everything will be empty. It will start as new again. But until the iPhone XR and above, it is different again. Okay, the Apple have added a security into the EEPROM. Okay, this thing. This thing is not allowed to replace anymore. This thing, even you are not trying to recover the data. Okay, if you try to replace this, you will end up with error nine. If your none is still the same, okay. If you didn't erase your none or you didn't change it, it will keep giving you the error nine. Because the encryption key is only giving you once, okay. One device only have a one unique encryption code into the EEPROM. So it, until this point, if you still not understand, actually EEPROM is kind of like a key, you know, to access to your your NAN. Let's say your NAN is the security safe. So if you lost the key, you will be permanently unable to unlock the safe anymore. Okay. Safe box. This time, ever since the 10R, 10S onward, Apple is not allow us to replace this EEPROM anymore. So now I'm going to show you in actual under the microscope because we have a case that is a 10R that is damaged. Okay, so ever since the Bionic Air 12, beginning from the Air 12, the EEPROM is cannot be replaced anymore. So this is the place where is the EEPROM. If you look at the another 10R, okay, this exactly this is the IC. And what happened to this device is most likely it's either heavy drop or either when someone opened the shoe from here because there's a shoe like this okay there's a shoe under the CPU so maybe they want to fix something here they accidentally damage the EEPROM that is located in here So, take a look at this EEPROM. It will be looking like this. So, when this UI brought to us, it seems to be everything good. Okay. But after I cleaned the glue, I found out there's a little, little dent. Very, very little in here. You can see it. Just on the corner here so the EEPROM should be like this the location so there's a dent in here just very little and then it is dead now so how do we know it is dead is uh, you have two ways is one of the ways um, you can try to replace another one. You try to restore it, and we are still giving you the error. Okay, but the error will be different if you have an empty none on it. Okay, and also is uh, maybe it is not error nine anymore in the future iOS. You know, because the error code is very heavily depends iTunes version and the Apple Store. Okay, they can change the rules anytime. So for now, fourteen point five. Is still giving you the error nine. Okay, if you say let's we try to swap over the EEPROM from other device to here, it will still the same. Okay, 
as I say, it is not allow us to replace. Apple is not giving you a uh, encryption key how you read the NUN anymore. Even you you have a different NUN, the CPU will still not able to use the key. Okay, so this is why you need to be really extremely careful when you are doing repairing the iPhone XR and above. Okay, so if you try to sort this over, you will still have the same error. Okay. So far, there's uh, no solution. Okay. If you if you say you you seen this kind of things before, this is the EEPROM reader. Okay. I have a lot of EEPROM reader. EEPROM reader is not allow you to recover from the damage you know it is only allow you to back up the EEPROM encryption code into your PC and then the, the, the file it can be flushed into the another EEPROM okay so if your EEPROM is already damaged before you use the tools it is useless and why I still have the tools because let's say I if I want to do the board swapping I want to swap the CPU into here, but I don't want to remove the EEPROM anymore. Okay, I can just back up the EEPROM by using that kind of tools, and then the new board put in the backup kind of to flash the file into the new EEPROM. The encryption file is like this. So there's a lot of random code like this. You you wouldn't understand at all so all we can do is just read and write you know okay just verify or either erase you cannot just modify even you you are allowed to modify you don't know what to do with it you know this is just a random code to you even apple themselves don't do this kind of works this is the apple security so what happened to this device now okay if you don't change the none the NAND data is still there when you turn on the phone it will have an Apple logo on it okay and if you attempt to restore it it will still giving the error okay so far there's a no solution the phone is considered fully dead okay nothing I can do so until this point you you will understand really there's some of the things that we cannot be repaired is because the Apple is not allow us to do so Okay, so just remember one thing is in order to recover the data, you must look at that three things, you know, CPU, okay, and the EEPROM. Uh, actually, the proper terms would be logic EEPROM, okay, we call it as logic EEPROM. So CPU, logic EEPROM, and the NAND, okay, these three things must be original. So in this point, you are well known. 10 R and above if this little guy is damaged we cannot do anything for now okay maybe in the future someone will figure out a way okay but so far I don't see that so what if this happened in the 10 iPhone 10 or older models you, you just can replace another EEPROM and to restore it so the phone will be fully working again but the data of course is gone okay if you try to change the EEPROM in older models okay normally the phone will start into the DFU mode or either boot loop okay it will force you to restore because the CPU didn't have the same key to access the data anymore by the way I forgot to mention that the the two ways that how do we know the EEPROM is dead okay the first method I already told you that you can just try to change another NAND and we will, it will still not able to flash okay it will still not able to let you restore giving you an error 9 okay and the second way is you have to use the kind of tools which is the EEPROM reader okay let's say this is for iPhone 7 if you already remove the CPU you just put on here and then use the software to read it okay because there's a there's a few pins ok 
okay, to read from the CPU packs. Okay. That few pins will directly go to the EEPROM and then you can extract the encryption file into your PC. Okay. If it can be read, it means the EEPROM is working. So the second way is some of the tools that come with these kind of things. Okay. Some of the EEPROM reader. Okay. This is kind of the EEPROM reader that is uh, to read the screen, LCD screen, vibration, things like this. Because even the screen have a EEPROM, you know, LCD screen. Okay, and it does come with the packs that is I2C connection, okay, ground on 1.8. These four packs is also to read the EEPROM, okay. You just need to solder all these few things in there to read it, okay. All you need to do is look at your schematic and just solder on it. Okay. If the EEPROM is working, it should be readable. Okay, just don't look at it and you see there's a little crack and you already give up. Okay, don't do like that. Okay, our job is to be more responsible as a donation. Just don't try to not miss any small details. Okay, don't give up that that easily. So in this case, I already done that and it is still not readable. And I already tried to solder on the good EEPROM and it's readable and we already confirmed. Uh, yep, that's it.